Hi, let's talk about comfort decks. The coffee's great. So a while back, Johanna asked us to talk about our comfort decks. And I have to ask, what is a comfort deck? Well, to me, a comfort deck is that deck that you love to come home to. You can't wait to come home and put your PJs on, your sweatpants, your house slippers, tie back your hair, get a cup of coffee, and just bond with your decks. So the first one that comes to mind is the Osho Zen. I love this deck. This deck has such a peaceful, honest energy. Every time I use it, every time I um, go through this deck, every time I do a reading or pull a card, it has such an important, honest message, and I love that. And um, it's based on the writer's uh, Waite Smith system with a little bit of variance, especially the major arcana. Some have a little bit different names. And then you have the court cards, and then you have the suits. This is the suit of water. But they call, yeah, they call that one water, the suit of water. And then this is definitely the fire suit. Beautiful. And then the um, swords is clouds. Pentacles, rainbows. And then the major arcana is purple. So the little diamonds, like this one, change, little purple diamond. Isn't that beautiful? So, yeah, this is the Zen Tarot, and Osho created this. Um, I just love what he says in it about this deck. And... Um, the guidebook is really good. I, I got the larger guidebook. Um, this came with the deck. It's basically the same guidebook. One's just larger. And I love it. So I enjoy working with that one. Next on my list is the Thelema. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. I actually edged this. I hope you can see. I edged it in the green color which is mostly the background on most of the cards. The Lima means will, and it is um, on the, the Ace of Swords in the, in the um, Thoth deck. The Lima is on the sword. So um, that's very meaningful to me um, because through the will, our strength of character and our will we we manage to get through life in general that's the eight of wands I love that card and the backs are beautiful it's it's a very traditional deck Rider Waite Smith based and um, I don't have a Rider Waite Smith deck per se but I love this one so that's the one that will suffice for me and it comes in this adorable box isn't that beautiful just opened it up and it has a rather nice guidebook as well and it has a lot of good information in in the guidebook The Lima, I should just mention um, that it, it, the, the artwork concept and design is by Renata Lechner, and the book is by Jamie Elford. So just a little kudos goes out to those folks. The next deck I want to talk about is the Stella. I love this deck. To me, this deck it just says, happy. 
happiness, everything's right with the world. There's the judgment card. And the moon, I love that moon card. So many bright, beautiful colors. I love the colors. Uh, I love the border treatment. I love the font. It's a real pretty cursive. And um, if I had two of these decks, I might trim all that away, but um, I'm just going to keep that as is. Although I love trimming decks and edging decks, this one I'm really happy with. The backs are amazing. It wouldn't bother the backs at all if you did trim it. So, um, yeah, that um, deck I just is by Stella Caruco. I love that deck. It's definitely one of my comfy decks. Okay, next up, I've talked about this one before. I'm just really bonding with this deck this year. <laughs> it's the Thoth. Yeah, and this is the large one. The images are just bold. The colors are amazing. There's a limited color palette, but it it just oh look at that card. It just sends the point home. Change. Alistair, Alistair Crowley is the creator of the deck and um, Lady Frida is the artist. When I look at this deck the first thing I say is it's so futuristic. She was ahead of her time when she created these images. Power. You know it just looks like there's just movement, electricity on that deck with those um, waves. It really looks like it's moving. So, you know, just having this large deck, learning about its history, its tarot history. What year was this created? Let me just double check. Um, three months of work, they thought, it became five years between 1938 and 1943. <laughs> it was some undertaking. I don't know. Maybe they just, you know, like just possess them for those years. It just took over. It's brilliant. It's a masterpiece. Swiftness. That's the Eight of Wands. Some of the, the, um, words here at the bottom it's hard to to like associate this one is the ten of wands and it's oppression that one's easy to associate um, five of disc is worry that one it means so much more than just worry to me so that's probably that little bit of a limitation but still it doesn't keep you from thinking look at that hanged man it doesn't keep you from thinking of the meanings that you know about the hanged man the prince of discs Oof. this is um adjustment so that's the justice card it doesn't keep me from knowing what that card is it's just an added benefit okay before I was sort of convinced I needed that thoth and I needed the large thoth <laughs> I um, saw Sacred Seed and Elle had presented, hello Elle, she had presented this adorable um, tiny deck right here. And I knew that when I got it, I had to have it. 
and it comes in this beautiful little tin. It's called the, the Mini Rosetta. And it's by M.M. Maline. And she gives you this little, it's your name in hieroglyphics. And I love that. It was a nice touch. Look at this deck. So when you compare this deck to the cloth, you can see the similarities. Somehow, after feeling quite comfortable with this deck and its beautiful, intrinsic power, and all the color, this Two of Dusk is one of my favorite cards in this deck. I fell in love with this deck. And it helped me to fall in love with self. So, um, there was so much really great connection with this deck. That's, that's mainly why I consider it. Um, one of my comfort decks because it introduced me to a whole new world that I'm just still I'm just at the starting gate learning about that and it's just sending me off in this different spiritual direction I can't even explain or describe it okay so I'm going to show you these two um, oracle decks together and then I'll show you one more oracle deck this first oracle deck that I'm going to show you, if I can pull it out here without making too much of a jiggle with the setup I've got going here. This is the um, mon chakra, mind chakra Mind Set. And um, it's amazing. That's the backs of the cards. It's from Australia. Where's my book about that? I have a book because I can't remember everything I want to say. Um, Antoinette Reed. Reed? Antoinette. Um, yeah, I don't have. Oh, here it is. I wanted to give credit. It's Antoinette Gomez and her sister, Bianca Gomez. And the creator is a lady named Layla, and I can't say her last name. But again, um, it's called the Chakra Mindset. So the cards are organized in the, chak the seven chakras, and each chakra has a color. So this is the throat chakra, and it's associated with blue. And in the very center, you can see the symbol for the throat chakra. And so then the cards that are about the throat chakra come next. And they're in the same color. Lies. So this is talking about communication. Deceptive communication in that sense. And your expression. How you express yourself. In um, the book is such a great if somebody wants to learn about the chakras it's an excellent resource it's broken out into telling about the card itself then then it goes into um, how there are blockages and how you can recognize blockages in this chakra and what you can do about those blockages and then there are mantras and some additional meanings so um, then it goes into the heart, heart chakra screen. And then the cards that follow suit are trusting. Isn't that beautiful? Healing. I hope this is picking up green on my camera. Loved. This card, can I tell you, when I saw it and that horse and that girl, it made me cry. I really teared up with this card because it's so beautiful. It shows just the beauty of love 
an affection for an animal, their affection for their humans. It just breaks me up. It's just just amazing. And I try to use these um, as a daily draw, and I put it on my um, bedside table or my bureau, and I just reflect on it for that day. Also, speaking of do, drawing a card a day with the oracles, this, you have got to have the seeds of Shakti. Um, did I just say that wrong? It's seeds of Shakti, and it's by um, Sharon Basanti. And the backs are either black or white, and they're mandalas. So you can actually take two of the cards. I can see clearly now. Did I do it? I don't even know. Oh, I should have turned it that way. And they actually, bam, go together. Isn't that beautiful? I probably should have shown you that in the white. But I would do a daily draw with the chakra mindset. And then along with that daily draw, I would do a draw from the seeds of Shakti. Isn't that beautiful? And they just speak to me. Wild Moon Woman showed these cards a while back. This is the second edition. Manipura. You are fierce, instinctual, and strong-willed. I love the artwork is amazing. It's got that tie-dye look. Um, so, you know, it's based on um, her religion, her culture, and um, paganism, shamanism, and other traditions. There's Buddhism and Hinduism, Hinduism depicted. There's the lotus. Let's just say Eastern religions. <laughs> I love it. And someone was talking about the singing bowls this week. Was that you, Veronica? There's the singing bowl. And meditate. So this is kind of connected to the Osho Zen um, because Osho is saying that um, everyone can have spiritual enlightenment and you do so through meditation. So um, there you go. That's that Eastern spiritual model. So. I showed you two of my oracle decks. I showed you my comfy tarot decks. And I have one more. This would not be a complete showing of comfort decks if I didn't share with you the um, animal spirit oracle from the wild unknown. This is so amazing. I have the um, book, the larger guidebook, and it's amazing. So it's broken out into the earth, water, fire, air, and spirit. The spirit is creatures of the ether. That's a trap. It's like the wild unknown. It's um, black and white with little bits of watercolor. And this rabbit is actually the earth creatures of the field and forest. I love rabbits. That's my Chinese zodiac. I'm a rabbit. Oh, look at this beautiful card. So watercolorish. It's the bee. And this is the air, creatures of the sky.
Oh. This is water. Creatures of the oceans, rivers, and lakes. There's another one of the spirit creatures. Creatures of the ether. Unicorns. Lovely unicorns. This, look at the peacock. This deck speaks to me. There's so much um, knowledge that we can gain just from the animals. The lizard. He's, um, fire. Yeah. The lizard is instinctual, sensitive to the subtle. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and my share of my comfort decks. And if I massacred anybody's name, I apologize. If I got some incorrect information, I apologize for that too. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be glad to just to talk to you. So looking forward to um, seeing and finishing watching everybody's videos and um, just having so much fun um, watching everybody's decks and including Ethany's challenge her uh, 31 days of tarot that's for 2017. I've posted one video and everyone's like posting videos madly. And um, so I'm really enjoying um, watching everybody's videos. So I'll try not to um, duplicate too much, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> we love um, this stuff, don't we? So I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, bye.